Welcome to Bite Size, where simplicity is underrated. Welcome to Pint Size. Thanks for joining us. Today we've got the first of the beers that Beers of Europe sent us. Yeah. Beers of Europe is the biggest beer warehouse in the UK and has an insane range of beers. If you haven't seen our unboxing video on Pint Size Untapped, you can watch it right up there. And uh, you would have seen that one of the beers we got out was Romanian and I couldn't pronounce the name. Next up. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Surprise, surprise. That wasn't the name of the beer. I wish it was. We've got a bottle of... <laughs> Timmy Soriana. Timmy Sorana. Timmy Sorana. And then he saw John and Peter. They went to the pub and had Timmy Sorana. Uh, Lux Premium Pills Nerentura Beaver. 400 mil. Uh, something like a million pounds or something. Uh, beer of Romania. Um, that's all the bottle's telling me. Let's find a little bit more about it. Timmy Soriana is one of the key brands of Ursus Breweries, a subsidiary of Sav Miller, and it's one of the top breweries in Romania. They're based in Bucharest, and they've got four breweries around the country. The brands that they produce for that part of the world are Ursus, their flagship beer, and a couple of big names like Peroni, Pilsner Urkel, and Miller. The Timmy Sorana Brewery was built in 1718 in Timmy Suara, in 2001, Ursus Breweries bought it and kept their flagship beer, the Timmy Soriana, a 5% pale ale. So let's try it out. It's billed as Romania's first beer, whatever that means. Uh, I guess the brewery goes way back, 1718. Uh, it just looks like a classic European lager. Let's give it a try. So here we go, a glass of Timmy Soriana. When I poured it, it had a huge three to four finger, big bubbled head. Uh, it's just a classic golden lager color. Not much of a smell, pale malts, a uh, little bit hoppy, maybe a little bit of apple in there. Quite balanced flavour, bit of hoppy, corny, sort of wheat, uh, not wheaty, a little bit of corny, hoppy. A little bit of spilly. Um, yeah, that's pretty underwhelming. Um, well, I feel really bad, because that's the first beer the Beers of Europe sent us. Well, why didn't I choose one of their others? Why didn't I choose the... The Belgian triple or the Portuguese stout. Uh, this one's mediocre! Oh, sorry. Oh, no. Got to find a positive. Um, uh, I guess it's simple, sessionable, quite mild, pretty strong. It's about 5%. Um, yeah, maybe simplicity is underrated and this is, this is bang on the money. Or it's just a little bit pissy. Mm. Maybe stick to the gymnastics, Romania. I read that joke online. I don't know if that's even relevant anymore, really, is it? That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Beers of Europe for sending us Romanian quite bad lager. Uh, I cannot wait to try the other beers they sent. I thought I'd start from the bottom, and I clearly have. So, uh, yeah, remember to subscribe uh, if you haven't already. Check out our Facebook page, forward slash pint sized thinking. Put up those videos and outtakes and news and stuff. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you next time, pint sized fans. Thanks for watching. Mm. No, it's, it's an ale. Okay, so I just had to explain that because it's an ale, it's not actually carbonated. Still, ales are still and usually warm. I was, I was gonna say, this is, <laughs> this is warm, we should take this back. <laughs>